So I got a buddy that's thinking about getting into the roll-offs. He's uh, already got dump trailers. I think he's got 10 of them or so. And he was asking me about bumper pull versus gooseneck. So I figured I'd take some footage today. I did a drop this morning that was in a pretty tight spot. The biggest difference between the gooseneck and the bumper pull is the ability to articulate, all right? So on a bumper pull, you essentially have, well, let's see, how can I do this? You essentially have like that much angle to work with because at some point you smack the bumper of your truck and that's not fun. You're gonna lose your bumper, you're gonna cause some damage, you're not gonna feel very good about yourself. With a gooseneck, and you'll see it in the video, you can articulate literally beyond that 45 degree angle. You can get into positions like that, right? So when you get into really tight neighborhoods, the longer your trailer, the more difficult it's gonna be, obviously. So maybe with like a 12 foot trailer or a 14 foot trailer, you can do really well with a bumper pull. But when you get into, you know, smaller, tighter residential stuff, it is much, much, much nicer to have the gooseneck, especially with the longer distance, simply because you can articulate in a way that you can't do with the bumper pull. Now, it also is a big benefit when you're getting your pickups done, because when you get into that jackknife position, if let's say your rails of your dumpster and your rails of your trailer aren't lined up perfect, if you're just off a little bit, when you hook up your hook, you can jump in the truck, go forward, go backward, and kind of articulate your rails a little bit, just to line up a little bit better and make pulling the dumpster up onto the trailer a little bit easier. So I'll go ahead and roll the footage, I'll let you check it out, and then if anyone has any questions, go ahead and throw them in the comments. But this is hopefully gonna settle the debate. Should you get the bumper pull or should you get the gooseneck? I say go gooseneck every time, but if you're absolutely not confident in your ability to haul a trailer, this is a much more difficult setup, so maybe use that uh, in your calculation as well.
All right, so now that we've talked about all the benefits of the gooseneck, let me give you some negatives, all right? It's gonna be much more difficult to pull forward and to go backwards because on a bumper pull, you essentially follow the path of the truck. On a gooseneck, because of that ability to articulate, if you cut your wheel really hard in the truck, the trailer itself is gonna actually follow a more inside path than the truck will. So sharp right-hand turns, especially at like four-way stop signs, are much more difficult because you run the potential of that trailer's path kind of taking a different route on the inside and could take out a mailbox, could hit a telephone pole, could run your stop sign down if you're not very careful, okay? When you're making turns, especially right-hand turns, in America at least, uh, when you're making right-hand turns, you almost have to pull into the oncoming traffic when you do your swing and then cut it in really tight to make sure you're not jumping curbs and stuff like that pretty much all the time. So if you're not very comfortable uh, in your ability to tow a trailer and take your time and you know maybe you're in like a downtown area. If I was working in a very, very, very um, downtown congested, you know, tight spot type thing, I probably wouldn't want to do a trailer at all, but I definitely wouldn't want to do a long gooseneck because it just makes all that stuff much more difficult. Now, when you're backing up, a bumper pull is very simple. You can kind of turn the wheel and tell the trailer where, it, where it's going. With a gooseneck, you have to, um, you have to kind of give it the equation ahead of time and get to the point where it can start swinging before it really commits to the swing. The, this might not be a good translation, but the biggest difference bumper pull and gooseneck is almost like basic math versus algebra or geometry, something along those lines. With a bumper pull, two plus two equals four. With a gooseneck, you're kind of running a formula out on how to back up and how to uh, make your turns. Because there's a, a little bit of time, especially on the backup, where you're not really, you're not telling it where to go. You're waiting for it to get to a point, and then you can really rip that wheel and kind of push it up into the spot that it's going. So uh, if you've never towed a gooseneck, it's not the end of the world. I had never in my life towed a gooseneck until I bought this trailer. I bought this trailer in six dumpsters, having never in my life hooked up a gooseneck, drove a gooseneck, back to gooseneck, anything. Never in my life. So I would say I'm a competent person when it comes to driving trailers. I have, you know, I live in Florida. I've driven boats and jet skis and utility trailers all the time. Um, but nothing big, nothing gooseneck. Uh, and nothing where I'm, you know, articulating it into people's driveways. So I will say it is something that you can learn pretty easily if you feel like you're pretty confident behind a trailer, but it's not quite as simple as the bumper pull is. So definitely things to consider, but if I had to go back 100%, no question about it in my mind, if I were to be put with the option of, do I buy a bumper pull or do I buy a gooseneck roll-off trailer? Not even a, a question, I'm going gooseneck every time. I do love the 16 foot. If you're not super confident and you're in a tight area, maybe consider a 14 footer, but the 16 foot is very doable if you're willing to learn and you're not in like a downtown metropolitan area. So things to consider guys. Good luck out there.